Welcome to the Dr. Janine Show. I'm Dr. Janine Baring, naturopathic doctor, and today I am sharing the secret to boost collagen naturally. This is a fantastic show. I know a lot of you have been waiting for this one, so please stay tuned right until close to the end of the show. We do have our trivia section coming up, and this week's prize is the VitaTree Hair, Skin, and Nails formula. So this is from our great sponsors at VitaTree, and one of our lucky contestants, so you don't have to answer the questions correctly, just do your best, will be randomly selected to win the hair, skin, and nails this week. So make sure you are following Team Dr. J9 so that we can contact you, especially on TikTok, to ensure that if you are a winner from TikTok that we can contact you. Now, if you're new to my channel, welcome in. I am a naturopathic doctor, and we do this every single week on Tuesdays at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time sharing different topics about natural medicine and what you can do to help your own health and of course your beauty is one of the things we're focusing on today in today's show talking about collagen if you do have questions and comments throughout the show please do drop it in the comment section below and I appreciate all the likes that you give me throughout the show and sharing the video as we are live as well as giving me those thumbs ups as well so let's talk about collagen so collagen amounts to about 25 to 30 35% of the total protein in our bodies. And that is really important in terms of being a mammal. We have this high, high percentage of this type of protein. Now, there's different types of collagen in the body. So I'm going to break them down a little bit in today's episode. You don't have to remember any of this, but our joint cartilage is about 80 to 90% of the type 2 collagen. And current research actually suggests that this undenatured type 2 collagen, so it's called UC2 may reduce swelling, joint pain, and stiffness. And this is really important for anybody who's suffering with severe osteoarthritis, both you know it, for the children, so juvenile arthritis, and also adult onset rheumatoid arthritis. So to know that collagen beyond the beauty benefits, I just wanted to you know also point out that it's very effective for helping our joints and our fascia, as well as our muscle tissue as well. So that's important to know. Now, collagen is a fiber-like structure and it's used to make our connective tissue so we have connective tissue in other parts of the body so in our bones as well in our skin as we know as well as our muscles our tendons and our cartilage and that's why it's so important for proper you know functioning and structure of our joints that we have enough of that collagen now what collagen does is it helps to make tissues resilient and strong at the same time and able to withstand stretching so so that sort of elastic property of connective tissue is very important so that we don't have rigidity and people who have connective tissue disorders is something and you know I've recently done a TikTok on um, Ehlers-Danlos syndrome and that is a you know an inherited disorder that the collagen um, and the connective tissue is not functioning optimally and this is where you know there could be a lot of sort of secondary effects of not having proper connective tissue, things like blood pressure issues as well as headaches and a lot of pain in the body. So our collagen tissue and connective tissue is very, very important for good overall functioning in our systems and making sure that we're optimizing. And of course, for the beauty benefits, which we'll get to in just a second, is really a great thing to be able to, you know, and I'll be sharing the tips today as to how you can maximize your collagen, your own collagen production but things that you can do, you know, and things that you can take naturally, of course, to help your own collagen. So there's this big debate about different types of collagen and meat versus plants. So collagen is naturally found only in animal products, so the animal flesh, and whether it is from bovine sources and fish that contain their own connective tissue. So when you're taking collagen as a supplement, it needs to be an animal product. Now there are plant sources that help to give the building blocks of healthy collagen. So it's a little bit different in the way, if you are a vegetarian, in the way that you boost your collagen, because of course you wouldn't take the animal products. Now to produce your own collagen, your body needs certain raw materials. So one of them is the amino acid proline and this is in egg whites. So egg whites and you know I prefer to eat whole eggs 
so that you're getting all of that nutrient density from a whole egg. But egg whites do contain that proline, which is really important for your collagen. Dairy products also contain proline. Cabbage, mushrooms, and asparagus all contain proline. So again, if you are vegetarian, going for the you know whole food vegetarian sources for proline is definitely the way to go. Now, glycine is another important amino acid, and this is found in pork skin as well as chicken skin and gelatin and a variety of other protein-rich foods. So glycine is also very important important for your connective tissue functioning, especially in the gut. So that's really important. As well as vitamin C. So we all know that vitamin C helps the proper structure, structure and function of our collagen. We can't make active collagen from our pro-collagen if we don't have enough vitamin C. So we know that vitamin C is found in citrus fruits. Of course, bell peppers also have a lot of vitamin C. Any type of pepper really does have a high amount of vitamin C, as well as amla berries, can camu berries. So that's something I always recommend that people get their vitamin C from a whole food source. And if you're going to take a vitamin, make sure it's a whole food vitamin that has some of these superfood ingredients that are high in that natural vitamin C. As well as zinc. So zinc is an important mineral. It's been in the news a lot in the last couple of years in terms of helping the immune system. But zinc is naturally found in beef as well as lamb, pork, shellfish, and from vegetarian sources, chickpeas, lentils, and beans all contain good amounts of zinc. Some dairy products and cheeses also have zinc and various nuts and seeds as well. So now getting that high concentration of zinc may be difficult from food sources. So sometimes going again to a whole food supplement to help to optimize your zinc, especially if you are deficient and have compromised absorption. So people who have leaky gut syndrome and you take certain medications, you have a lot of stress, you drink alcohol and a lot of caffeine products, this will deplete your zinc absorption. So that's something to be aware of in terms of you know, maybe you are at risk for zinc deficiency. So I have a whole other show all about zinc deficiency. So make sure you check it out here on my YouTube channel. And copper, of course, as well. So copper and zinc work hand in hand with one another. So that's something that you want to pay attention to in getting that right ratio of zinc and copper. And copper is naturally found in organ meats as well as cocoa powder and cashews, sesame seeds, and lentils as well. So ensuring that you're getting that proper ratio is usually achievable with a good whole food supplement for your zinc and your copper. And to maximize that zinc absorption, you need a zinc ionifer, which is something I talk about in my zinc show, which my favorite, of course, is quercetin. So you can look that up after today's show if you want to learn more about zinc. If you're just tuning in, I am Dr. Janine Bowering. Today I'm talking about the secret to boosting our collagen naturally. So thank you for tuning in, everyone. It's been a few weeks since I've been live live, so it's great to see you all. We're going to continue on with the different types of collagen. In just a moment, I want to say hello on Facebook. This is Facebook. Sherry Prabhakara and our letter, forgive my pronunciation of your names. It's so good to see you here. I know that Francis is here. Reina777 is here on TikTok as well. Nice to see you, Nelson. Hello, nice to see you. Jamila is here and Rami is here as well. And Sweet Jerry 21, hello, hello. Good morning, good morning. Nice to see you. Um, time to Earth, hello. And Chris is here as well on TikTok. So I know a lot of people are watching and thank you for all the likes. Oh my goodness, thank you. I appreciate that. And thanks for sharing the video as well. And for all my new followers, if you're just tuning in, I am Dr. Janine and I'm talking about different types of collagen. So here we go. The body contains, guess how many types of collagen? 16 or even more types of collagen. Now, the majority of the type of collagen is either type 1, type 2, or type 3 in our human bodies. And I'm going to break these down as to why they're important. So type 1 collagen is the strongest and the most abundant type of collagen in our bodies. This really does help with our connective tissues. So this is in most types of the connective tissues in our body. Type 2 collagen is the main component of joint cartilage so that's important for the proper functioning of our joints helps to keep our joints healthy and also helps in reducing the chance of arthritis developing and joint pain associated with the aging process so that's why type 2 collagen is really important for our bone health but also for healthy hair skin and nails and helps to promote healthy gut 
functioning as well. So for people with leaky gut syndrome, this is a whole other topic. I have shows all about that, so check those out on my YouTube channel as well. And of course, there's type 3 collagen. Now, this is the major component of the extracellular matrix, and this is present in all tissues, especially the skin and our internal organs. So again, having proper amounts of the different types of collagen will help to boost up our health, especially in our internal organs, but for the beauty benefits, of course, for the skin in as well. Now, when we look at different types of collagen supplements, I do get a lot of questions about which one is the best. And there, this is based on personal choices and a few other, you know, <laughs> reasons why you may choose one over the other. So the bovine, so this is usually derived from cows or beef collagen, and this is specifically from the skin bones and the muscles of that animal. Now, it's mainly type 1 and type 3 collagen that you are getting from a bovine source collagen and it also is a rich supply of the glycine and the proline so remember those building blocks for that healthy cartilage and for our connective tissue we needed the glycine and the proline this is a great source of this now it is also useful for creatine production so any bodybuilder you know you usually have heard about or maybe you're taking a creatine supplement so that's an added benefit of taking the this type of collagen from the beef source so helpful for building healthy muscles especially with working out and for your body to make its own collagen now there's chicken collagen as well so this is usually the type 2 so this is really important for building col our cartilage in terms of joint health and often this type of collagen is added into joint supplements. There's also fish collagen and it has been found to be easily absorbed and provides mostly the type 1 collagen and this also gives you some of the glycine and the proline and hydroxyproline. We also have eggshell membrane collagen. So of course found in the shells and the whites of eggs contains mostly type one collagen. Also has a little bit of type three, four and 10. Remember there's different and multiple types of collagen in the body. So this one gives you a little bit different ratio in terms of that type of collagen. Now the benefits of collagen, as I've discussed, great for joint health and of course for our skin health as well. So the the great news is that there have been some studies done in terms of skin elasticity and the physiology of the skin. So in this study, in terms of skin health, the oral intake of low molecular weight collagen peptide improved the hydration, elasticity, and wrinkling in human skin. So yay, that is really promising because usually it's sometimes difficult to find studies that will actually, you know, really prove the correlation between natural ingredients and the beauty benefits so the, the word wrinkling is a big thing that there were improvements in that study so that that's really promising for us all and that's of course why we're talking about collagen today I know a lot of you like to focus in on the joint health but come on let's be honest a lot of you like to really focus in on the beauty benefits of collagen and that's why I know that you come here to learn a little bit more so if you're just tuning in I'm Dr. Janine Barry, naturopathic doctor Ta -da and talking about the secret to boost collagen. Naturally, we're streaming live on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, as well as TikTok. So thanks for all the new followers and continue to like and share and do all of those fun things as you are enjoying this program today. Now, there are some things that can compromise our collagen levels. So what does cause collagen loss? Well, unfortunately, the aging process causes that loss of collagen as we are aging and, of course, missing those building blocks for that healthy collagen formation. Excessive UV exposure. So you know that I love the sun, but you have to be smart about it. So that UV exposure, you, you have to be sensible about it. And certainly the areas of your body that you want to minimize that damage to the collagen, especially if you're not supplementing with collagen to ensure that there's a balance there, you want to be a little bit careful. But I've got a whole other show all about the hidden secrets of the sun and, and healthy sun exposure. So make sure you check that out if you haven't yet seen it. Smoking will actually cause collagen loss as well. It's not a surprise if you've seen smokers skin, especially I notice in women that have smoked for years and years and years, you do definitely see a loss of that collagen in the skin. Alcohol, so I'm not saying, you know, 
moderate amounts, heavy amounts of alcohol. So overdoing it with alcohol, of course, is definitely a problem for your collagen levels, as well as vitamin and mineral deficiencies. So specifically vitamin C, which we talked about, zinc, magnesium as well. So magnesium is really our anti-aging mineral. It has so many different functions, protecting us from, you know, that blue light toxicity, which is another cause for collagen toxicity and, you know, collagen loss. So that blue light toxicity is something that we definitely have to be aware of, as well as essential fatty acid deficiencies. So if you're lacking, especially in the DHA, a little bit of that EPA as well, that helps to maintain our healthy cell membrane. So that's important. Our EMF exposures. So you know that I've got shows about EMF and actually I talked about that in the TikTok that I launched off this morning uh, and why that's so important that you're protecting yourself from those non-native EMFs as well as lack of sleep. So yes, we need our beauty sleep, our body repairs and we maximize our collagen functioning and the making of our collagen as we're sleeping. So that is a really important factor as well and lack of exercise. So we need to do our best to be active, have some type of movement every single day to maximize our collagen as well. Now let's go th through some of the signs and symptoms of a collagen deficiency. So at the top, of course, the obvious wrinkles and ri seeing wrinkling in the skin. If the cheeks are falling and there is a hollowness underneath the eyes and a darkness underneath the eyes that is a lack of collagen as well as well as joint pain so aches and pains in the body as it's related to a loss of collagen as we're aging sore muscles even so our tendons and our ligaments that keep our muscles in place and to make sure that our our bones are functioning optimally they need to have enough collagen so that's really important as well now cellulite, did you know that cellulite can be related to a collagen deficiency as well? So this is part of our connective tissue and to maintain that skin elasticity and the firmness and to make sure that our cells are renewing optimally, we need and you know to help to decrease the likelihood of developing that cellulite, we definitely need to ensure that we have optimized collagen levels. Now when the fatty tissue level layer that happens just underneath our skin is pushing upward against that connective tissue and that's the anchoring down. In women, our connective tissue is very different from guys. So when that's anchored down, that's when we start to see that dimpling effect with the cellulite. And that's something that we can see in this picture. So if you're watching on YouTube, you can see the full effect of this. That connective tissue is anchoring down that skin from above. And now that out poaching and some extra, you know, extracellular fluid and fat that may have accumulated as we age and being more sedentary that's when now we're going to get that dimpling effect that orange peel skin that cellulite so optimizing our collagen levels that's another reason is to help our cellulite as well flat or thinning hair can be related to a collagen deficiency so we know that the collagen protein is found around our hair follicles so that's really important to that we have that proper nutrient density I'll show you really quickly here in terms of our hair, we know that we have to supply that healthy hair with the nutrient density that comes through the bloodstream. So again, collagen is something that's ingested and the cofactors for that healthy collagen are ingested. So to have that healthy hair, we have to make sure that we are maximizing that. And of course, as our collagen levels decline, so does the delivery of these nutrients necessary for that proper hair growth. So that can result then in dull and thinning hair. Brittle nails. So if you have difficulty growing your nails out, we need that care to be healthy and of course is a necessary protein for healthy and strong nails so again we have to maximize that collagen how do we do it well stay tuned because the tips are coming up in just a moment how we can maximize our collagen as well as leaky gut syndrome so collagen is everywhere including the lining of your digestive tract so when you're lacking in collagen then you're lacking in those amino acids especially glycine glutamine proline which we talked about which helps 
helps with that healthy gut barrier. So maintaining that so you're not developing that leaky gut syndrome is really, really important. And of course, for appetite control. So did you know that you need collagen to help to manage and to actually decrease your appetite? So if you find that you are hungry all the time, we need to have enough collagen to have that satiety and to have the proper hormones secreted as well as leptin. So don't forget about the whole leptin story. If you don't know what leptin resistance is, please check it out. I don't know if you follow me, you can't miss, you know, the fact that leptin is so, so important and it's something that I share and talk a lot about. So if, you, if you're new and you're tuning in for the first time, please check out my videos on leptin resistance and make sure you're maximizing your leptin signaling in your own body to help with your hormones, with for your gut health, for inflammation and to help with your proper functioning overall of your entire system. Collagen has also been shown to make the peptide of, you know, making sure that we have that proper peptides and because collagen is made up of peptides, so when it's broken down, which I'm gonna talk about uh, in just a moment, so helping with longevity for people as well. So if you're just tuning in, I'm Dr. Janine. I'm talking about the secret to boosting collagen naturally. Thank you for tuning in, everyone who's watching today on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram and TikTok. I know that there's a ton of questions coming in. So I thank you for all the likes, Raina. I see that happening right now as we speak. Canadian Traveler123, nice to see you. Thanks for tuning in today. So uh, keep your questions. I will stay on live with my Instagram and my TikTok followers after the show. I'm sure you've got a ton of questions. So just save them. I will get to you in just a second. So let's talk a little bit about the topical versus ingested collagen. So I know that, you know, in the beauty industry collagen and the peptides are used topically um, and that's something that has been common probably for the last 10-15 years but the one drawback of using collagen topically and peptides is that the collagen fibers are actually too large to permeate the skin's outer layers and research has not yet supported that the peptides so the shorter pieces of that collagen are even more successful at having that proper absorption. So in the beauty industry, yeah, just be aware that ultimately, as I showed you in this diagram, that proper collagen formation comes from within. It comes from what we're digesting and absorbing in through our digestive tract, through the bloodstream. And when we talk about the aging process, we can see here that this is disordered collagen fibers. So you see all of these collagen fibers here and you know the diagram points that out that that's a disorganization and the loss of those collagen fibers. Now this happens with cross-linking. It's something called glycation and when there is excess sugar in the cells this glycation happens. So this is something that we definitely want to minimize and there are specific nutrients that do that. I promise I'll talk about you know in terms of product formulations after we're finished streaming live on our YouTube channel, so make sure you're, that you're sticking around on TikTok and on Instagram, because I'll talk about this more specifically. Now, let's talk about the hidden dangers of collagen supplements. Now, not all collagen supplements are created equal, and there are some concerns with collagen supplements containing heavy metals, so things like mercury, aluminum, so that's something to definitely be aware of, making sure that your collagen product is tested and third-party tested if you are taking it for these heavy metal toxins. I also like to educate people about the source. So if whether you choose to go with a bovine, which is my favorite type of collagen, or a fish collagen or a chicken uh, sourced collagen is not so much the product itself, but where that product came from. So it's, and I've said this before in other videos, it's the health of that cow and what that cow was eating and consuming or that fish or that chicken in terms of the health of that animal, of course, is what you will now be ingesting and that makes a big difference in terms of, you know, how clean that product is and, you know, other concerns about eating animal products. So you just really have to be aware that the source that you're getting your collagen supplement from is the highest grade of that, you know, nutraceutical ingredient and the health of where those animals, um, <laughs> where that stems from. So that's really important. As well as some people have food allergies, so you may take a multiple collagen supplement, not knowing that 
that there's some fish or some chicken or if you're you know sensitive to bovine sources of that collagen mixed into your collagen supplement and you have a reaction well it could be because you have a sensitivity whether it's known or not to some of those types of ingredients from the animal kingdom so that's something else to be aware of and of course the fillers so you know that I'm totally against any types of fillers magnesium stearate silicon dioxide titanium dioxide that can be sort of snuck into collagen supplements that you wouldn't necessarily know that are there to help to beef up you know the quantity in a jar of collagen so just you really have to trust you know in the company that you're purchasing collagen from now, here are the things to look for in a collagen supplement. So I prefer the hydrolyzed collagen, and that means that that collagen has been broken down into smaller molecules or peptides, making it much easier and a quicker absorption for your body. So that means that it's optimized for absorption. You're looking for hydrolyzed collagen preferably grass-fed. And again, knowing where those cows grazed because grass-fed has become sort of a catch term now I see in marketing. You have to know about where those cows came from, the health of those cows, and the standard of quality of care of those animals is really, really important as well. Now, I prefer the powder form whenever it's in encapsulated. You know, that's another option, but I like to have it in a powder form. I actually love to mix my collagen into a hot beverage, sometimes my coffee, most times my coffee which I love first thing in the morning and I just love you know the fact that it you know mixes in very well and it just is a great way to add to boost uh, my own collagen production as well with no magnesium stearate as I talked about no silicon dioxide so these are the things look at those non medicinal ingredients in your collagen supplement to make sure that there's no fillers flow agents titanium dioxide is another one Make sure that there is none of that in your collagen supplement. And of course, no synthetic vitamins. So a lot of collagen supplements will contain things like ascorbic acid. So synthetically derived vitamin C, you have to be aware of that as well. And hyaluronic acid. So this is will be labeled usually sodium hyaluronate. It is not, in my opinion, a great thing to ingest. The studies um, and research behind this and exasperating certain types of cancer is definitely there so I don't I don't like ingesting hyaluronic acid it's another thing to use it topically that's okay in my opinion but to ingest it is not something that I usually recommend okay we're at the tips everybody with me nine tips to boost your collagen naturally so tip number one is to do some kind of damage to the skin and I know that sounds kind of crazy so whether that's the micro needling which I love and I practice this massage even to the face can be something that now is stimulating not only the blood flow but the repair when we talk about the micro needling it, it helps to stimulate that repair and that dropping down of new collagen it forces your body much like exercise causes micro tears in the muscles helps the muscles to grow that you know a little bit of abrasion and micro needling really does help to boost that collagen i have other videos on how to do the micro needling and maybe that's something that i'm going to share more recently on my other social media accounts so stay tuned for that okay tip number two to boost your collagen naturally is to get enough sleep and restful sleep you've got to get into that deep REM sleep so that you have that regenerative process with your body so make sure that you're maximizing your good deep sleep I have a whole other show all about restful sleep and how to do that and tips how to do that so make sure you check it out tip number three is to do some high intensity interval training so hit training so we know that exercise helps to stimulate the production of human growth hormone and new collagen so really you know doing exercise is fantastic but try a few bouts of high intensity it doesn't have to be for long but really you want to sort of stress the body out a little bit so that it stimulates and this is for the joint health as well to help to stimulate that collagen production Tip number four is to include bone broth into your routine. So I personally like to make my own soup so that I know, again, the source of the animal where the bone broth is derived. And that's, for me, the healthiest way to do it. Tip number five is to include some of those cofactors for collagen production. So vitamin C, again, you're looking for a whole food vitamin C. If you are going to take it in a supplement form, including, you know, as well, some superfood ingredients in there, but also increasing your consumption of raw 
vitamin C food. So we talked about some of those in today's episode, as well as your zinc to copper ratio is very important. If you are going to supplement, make sure that there's a zinc ionifer like quercetin, and you're getting that proper rate ratio. Usually 12 to one or 10 to one of your zinc to copper is usually around the ratio that you're looking for, as well as maximizing your omega-3 fats. So of course I take a supplement that's high in the DHA. It has a little bit of the EPA as, wh- EPA as well, and that's you know really great for my own skin. And I've noticed a big difference, you know, over the years, especially as I've really upped my my consumption and my dosage of my DHA supplement. Tip number six is to use heat, but to use the cold as well. So it's a sort of like a stressor to the body. Here in Canada, we have no problem right now. This time of year, we're in the midst of today's been the coldest day. I think with the wind chill factor, it's minus twenty seven, minus twenty seven degrees Celsius outside. It's cold, but you know what? It is fantastic. So I tried to spend as much, and it sounds crazy, as much time out in the cold as possible. And that cold air, that cold wind on the face, it does something to your skin. I'm telling you, it is so, you know, fantastic for rejuvenating the skin and building the collagen as well. And heat is great as well. So I actually love to use the far infrared sauna. So we know that infrared heat definitely has the ability to penetrate deeper into the deeper layers of the skin and has not only a detoxing effect, but helps to stimulate collagen production as well. Tip number seven is to use use red light. So there are red light therapy devices, as well as natural sunlight exposure. So this you can still do throughout the winter months. Get out whenever you see that sun. Make sure that you get out and especially in the early morning hours and close to sunset as well. This is when you can maximize that red light exposure naturally from the sun and this will help to stimulate the fibroblasts. So the fibroblasts are those little collagen producing cells which are so important. We want to stimulate that and also at the same time with the red light therapy it's helping to decrease the enzymes that actually break down collagen. So it has a multitude of effects with that red light therapy. So yes there are devices I prefer to get it naturally from the sun at those different times of day. Tip number eight is to ensure that you're getting some of those other building blocks. So things like silica, which is naturally occurring from some plants, horsetail herb will have naturally occurring silica, which is fantastic. And L-lysine is that amino acid, which is great often in a high amount in if you're taking the right type of collagen supplement, but you can also supplement the lysine separately in, you know, a combination with some of these other ingredients. MSM is another one that helps to make sure that you are producing and and actually your your pro collagen is actually connected to one another. So it's a triple helix. So to make sure that that is connected to each other to form your active collagen is important and MSM helps to do that. And of course, taking a collagen supplement is tip number nine. So studies have shown that by taking the right type of collagen, so in this study they found that oral supplementation of specific collagen peptides has beneficial effects on human skin physiology and this was actually a double blind placebo controlled study so you know a really good quality study to show that yes human skin physiology can be influenced by taking the right type of collagen so if you're just tuning in welcome we are getting to quiz time right now I am Dr. Janine naturopathic doctor helping to share the secrets of boosting your collagen naturally thank you so much to everybody who is tuning in today thank you for sharing liking giving me those hearts and all those fun things that you do throughout the show and please if you're a new follower please you know hit that subscribe button that follow button so that you are following and you get in on the action every week. This is so much fun for me as well. Arletta, hello, hello. Nice to see you on Facebook. Um, is there a relationship with psoriasis and low keratin? That is a great question. So we know with psoriasis, there's a quick turnover. So it's an over exuberation of, if there's that, that's even a word, um, a turnover of the cells in psoriasis. So psoriasis is multifactorial. And if there's low keratin, I don't know if the keratin can actually ever catch up to that ability for that psoriasis in the skin cells in psoriasis to turn over that quickly. So we have, you know, different protocols for psoriasis and it's something that I've talked about in other episodes. So if you missed that, make sure you check it out. But yeah, there's definitely a lot that you can do for psoriasis. And I promise that I'll share some newer information on that in some upcoming videos. So stay tuned for that and on my TikTok as well, Arletta. So great question. Um, 
uh, Liz Amrock, hello, nice to see you. Great to, great to see you. And Blazian Shaw, hello, nice to see you. Thanks for joining in today. Bear 196060, thank you, thank you for asking your questions. Hold on the line for that, and I will get to that in just a second. So nine nine k likes. Am I seeing that? Thanks, guys. Thank you so much. That's awesome. Thanks to everybody who's tuning in today. Okay, we're at quiz time. Remember, we're playing for the hair, skin, and nails formula. So this is from our great sponsors at VitaTree who support this show and our ongoing ability to bring this show live to air. So we thank them at VitaTree. And yeah, so you everybody's playing for this. So do your best. You don't have to get the quiz questions correct as long as you're attempting to answer. I have my team behind the scenes. So I'm going to have my YouTube and Facebook over here. I'm going to try to mention everybody who is tuning in. I know it is very difficult um, sometimes because the everybody comes in so fast and quick. I've got Instagram in my ear. So my producer's in my ear with my Instagram. I got you. Okay, good. I can see my TikTok here. So are we ready for question number one? Everybody ready? Okay. True or false? Osteoarthritis is from wear and tear on the joints. True or false? We started off with a really easy one today. Osteoarthritis is from wear and tear on the joints. Ah, Peg799, very quick on TikTok. Good job. Um, anybody else? TikTok went crazy? Oh my goodness. Liz, good job. Um, Blaze and Shaw, thanks for all those the those gifts. I see flowers and things too. I'm getting flowers and hearts today. Wow, thank you. Thanks, guys. KQN68 on Instagram. Good job, good job. JoJo relaxing. Hi. Miss Toasty on Instagram. Good job, everybody. Could, Katrina, good try, good try. Raina, good job. Sweet Jerry, good job. Lajan Shaw, good job. Uh, Peg, good job. Anybody else? Uh, let's see. I know I get a bit of a delay sometimes on Elsie Castles. Hey, how are you? Thanks for tuning in. Nice to see you again. Good job. Uh, Deb Camp, good try, good try. Um, thank you, Raina, for all the likes. I see, like, I see, oh, over 10K likes now. Thank you. Thanks, guys. That's so nice. Bud 1927 is here. Hello, hello. Good job. So D Diva Organic is here as well. Thanks, guys. Good job. Good job on answering. Good, good. Um, anybody else? Bear 1966. Good job. The answer is, oh, I'm missing here. Arletta, good job. Kathy Morgan, hi. Nice to see you. This is on Facebook. Good job, good job. Uh, Marie is here. Hi, on YouTube. Nadia is here as well. Uh, pro, is it Proellerable? Proellerable, good job. Kathy, good job. Harvarinda is here as well. Oh, my goodness. Like the whole, the whole family is here today. This is so fantastic. It's nice to see you. It's so good to be back live again. Um, good job, everybody. Great answers. Okay, so the answer is, were there a few more that came in? The answer is true. Yes, osteoarthritis is from wear and tear on the joint. So good job, everybody. Okay, question number two. What is the best type of glucosamine to look for in joint supplements? Question number two. What is the best type of glucosamine to look for in joint supplements? A little bit trickier. I'm looking for the specific type of um, Jamila. Good try. Good try. The specific type of glucosamine. Who has it? Joe relaxing. Good try. Good try. Good try. Um, uh, Raina. Good try. Good try. It's not. Oh exactly what I'm looking for, but good try. The best type of glucosamine to look for in a joint supplement. I know somebody's going to get it because they're, they're sly, very smart. Ah, uh, Arletta. Uh-huh. Arletta on Facebook. Good girl. Arletta's been with us for a while watching the shows as a follower. So good job, Arletta. I knew it would be one of my, one of the regulars. Good job, everyone. Best type of glucosamine to look for? Um, 
Proellerable, uh, good try. It's, you're thinking of something a little bit different, but that's, it's a good try. It's glucosamine, TikTok has it, another one? Ah, uh, good. Is it busting clays, good job. Bear, good, tr good try, good try. Uh, Liz, good, good attempt, that's all I'm looking for. Just try something, I know this one was tricky. It's glucosamine sulfate. Glucosamine sulfate is my preferred type. And that's where all the studies are behind the glucosamine sulfate. So if you missed my show on arthritis, uh, that streamed last week. So make sure you check it out on my YouTube channel. Okay, are we ready to continue? Question number three, true or false? Grounding has an anti-inflammatory effect. True or false? Grounding or earthing has an anti-inflammatory effect. Peg, very quick. Ah, Raina, good job. Don Saul, hello, hello, good job, good job. Uh, KQN, good job. Blazian Shaw, good job. Jamila, good job. Tessa, Tessa Glees, good job. Miss Toasty, good job, good job. Diva Organic, good job. Arletta, good job. Kathy Morgan, good job. Katrina, good job. Sorry? Edrodrian, uh, good job. Nadia, good job. Marie, good job on YouTube. Sorry, I missed the last one. Spud, 1927, good job. Kate, is it Kathy? Kathy, good job. Harvarinder, good job. Glory, 44, good job. And Zara, good job. Uh, Liza Marie, Baby Joy 801, uh, Bear 1966, Fix Your Face or I Will. I love that handle name. Good job on, on TikTok. Um, Jamila, good job. Um, I think I got those ones. Thanks for all the likes, guys. 11,000 11, likes. Thanks on TikTok. I love TikTok. That's amazing. Thanks, guys. And I think I see it's Raina. Raina, good job. Thanks for sending all the likes. Love you, girl. Um, Anybody else? Anybody else? Um, yeah, great answers, everyone. This is fantastic. YouTube, Proellerable, um, and I think I mentioned Kathy got it. Okay, so the answer is true. Yes, grounding. If you don't know what grounding is, please check out, you know, a lot of my videos. I talk about Mother Nature's prescription, and grounding is getting out on the ground with bare feet. There are grounding mats that you can buy for... That was um, Christmas gifts for my family this year, was the grounding mats for the beds, which is fantastic. And it's, yeah, getting your feet. Oh, here we see the video. So if you're watching on, if you're watching on uh, YouTube, you can see we're just playing a quick video of getting barefoot on the earth. And that's a nice sunny picture, even if you can do it. I do my best in the winter to get out on the snow and the ice with bare feet as well, or socked feet, would, would, it does work. Okay, are we ready? Question number four. In mind-body medicine, what emotion is most commonly related to knee pain? This one's... And now I know who my true followers and listeners are. My students. In mind-body medicine, what emotion is most commonly related to knee pain? Let's, let's see. Global Fitness, hello. Thanks for tuning in. KQN68? You have it? Uh, on Instagram? Oh my goodness. Uh, why do I seem surprised? Uh, two answers. Oh my goodness. Good job. Um, and there's questions coming in on Facebook from Kathy. Kathy, I'll get to those in, in just a second if I have a chance. Um, yeah, uh, Kathy... I don't know if my team can write in there for you. Um, the veins and circulation. Yeah, veins and circulation. So we'll look at the show. Yeah, maybe we should do a whole show on cellulite. What do you think? Yeah, okay. Everybody want a show on cellulite as we're streaming in answers here? Yeah, I think we'll do a show on cellulite. I think that'd be fun. Um, Elsie Castles, good job. Good try, good try. Bustin Clays, good try. Raina. Good try. I'm looking um, at the specific emotion. So some of your answers, mm, close, but not, not exactly. Um, Dumbway34, 
that is related to usually a zinc deficiency, what you're asking about, um, which I talk about in my zinc show, so check that out on, on YouTube. Uh, Elsie Castle's good try. Ah, I, I saw an answer here. Fix your face or I will. Yay! Good job. Miss Toasty has it? Katrina? Oh, a lot of people on Instagram have the right answer. Good job, everyone. Donsol 56, um, that's usually related to another organ, the lungs, but good, good attempt, as long as you're trying. Thanks. I see uh, Dr. Rock, too. A lot of likes coming in. Thank you, guys. Thanks. Um, so the answer is a few of you had it. So Fix Your Face or I Will was the first person that I saw on, on oh, Glow Well Fitness had it as well. My bad, my bad. Um, oh, Blasian Shaw. There's a few people I missed. I'm sorry. You had it as well. Good job on TikTok. And a, a bunch of you had it on, on Instagram. Um, Arletta has it as well, correct? On Facebook. And yeah, so the answer is fear. So fear in traditional Chinese medicine is related to the kidneys, which is related to the knees. So people who have chronic knee issues, pain, can be related to fear. Okay, last question. We're almost done for today. It was a long show today. It was great. True or false, EMFs cause inflammation. We ended it off on an easy one. True or false, EMFs, so non-native EMFs, radiation, cell phones, Wi-Fi, and all that stuff, cause inflammation. True or false? TikTok has it. Of course. This one's so easy. Um, Blasian Shaw, yes, you did say it first. Absolutely. Got you. Blasian Shaw is the champ for getting in there quick today. That's awesome. Uh, Blue Moon Energy, thanks for tuning in. Yes, yes, you're right. Baby Joy 801. Sorry, on TikTok. Um, KQN, Miss Toasty on Instagram. Spud1927 on Instagram. Good job. Diva Organic on Instagram. MCA. Brenda and Katrina all on Instagram. Good job, everyone. Sorry? Katarina, sorry. What were we saying? I was saying Katrina, sorry. Katarina, Katarina on Instagram. Our apologies. Um, Bustin' Clays, good job. Glow Well Fitness, good job. Bear 1966, true big time. I like that answer. Good job. Um, Deb Camp 123, Blue Moon Energy, Baby Joy, and... Good job, everyone. Okay, yes. pro -pro Let me go back. Um, Marie, very quick on YouTube. Good job. Nadia, good job. Kathy Harverinder, good job. And yeah, good job, everyone. So the answer is true. The answer is true. EMFs do cause a lot of inflammation in the body. That's one of the reasons why grounding is important to counteract the negative effects of EMFs. But I talk about that in my EMF shows. So make sure you check it out if you want to learn more about how to decrease your body stress to EMFs. Well, that was a great show, everyone. Remember, everybody on TikTok, don't go anywhere, Instagram as well. Make sure you're following Team Dr. J9 on those two platforms so that we can reach out if you are a lucky winner from this week's show that we can reach out to you and congratulations everyone everyone who attempted you know to answer any of the questions good job we do this every week and it is always so much fun so today i talked all about the secret to boost collagen naturally i hope you learned a lot if you continue to have questions comments please drop it in the comment section below be sure to share this video as well i appreciate all the love that you gave today and every time that i am live so thanks for all the thumbs ups and of course all the hearts and the flowers and i saw all these things streaming in um, on the other platform so that was fantastic thank you so much now if you're new to watching me and new to my channel please subscribe and turn on those post notifications by clicking the bell everyone has a calling in life and one of mine is to educate you how to live a life naturally and to do things naturally to maintain a healthy lifestyle so I thank you so much for joining today it was a great show and we'll see you next week mm -hmm.